today let us do uh, the journal entries relating to discount relating to discount. Now, there are two cases in this discount allowed and discount received. So, we are going to see the journal entries for both of them. In case of a discount allowed or a discount received, we can put a compound entry. There are two kinds of journal entries basically one is a simple journal entry, one is a compound journal entry. When we talk about a simple journal entry, it has one debit and one credit, right. If it is if it's a compound journal entry, it means there can be more than one debit or more than one credit, but the rule is the same, the total of the debit and the total of the credit should always be the same, right. Now, let us see this. Now, suppose discount allowed means the the uh, company is uh, okay. I'll put it this way. First of all, let's take this discount allowed. Discount allowed when the discount is allowed to a debtor, right? Then it is termed as discount allowed account, right. When you are giving a discount, when, when the discount is uh, allowed to a debtor or it is given to a debtor, right. Now, when a company gives a discount to its debtor, that is basically a loss to the company, right. So, discount allowed is a loss to the company and all losses will be debited, right. So, whenever there is a discount allowed account, then it will be debited, right. Same way, now you have discount received. Now, discount received means if the company has purchased something, some goods, right, from from an individual or a company, right, and the creditor is offering a discount to the company, it is called discount received, it is called discount received. The discount is received by the company for which you are making the journal entry, right, okay. Hmm. So, discount is received by the company, discount is received by us, right. So, that is a gain, right and it will be credited, okay. Now, let us say take uh, two examples for this. Now, supposing it is given paid Mr. Aroda rupees uh, 9000 in full settlement of his account of rupees 10000, right. Now, this means the company has to pay Mr. Aroda rupees 9000 and they are paying in full settlement that is they are paying rupees 9000 only, but the amount is 10000 that is in that is the final settlement right ok. So, uh, sorry in full settlement full settlement of his account of rupees 10000 right. Now, you are paying the uh, cash, he is a creditor. So, basically it will be Aroda account debit, debit the receiver, right. 
the whole thing you will write 10,000. How much cash are you paying? The cash being paid in final settlement is 9,000 rupees and that 1,000 rupees which is not paid that is a discount here. That is a discount received. So, discount received is 1000 rupees being the payment made to Mr. Aroda in full settlement of his account, right. Now, another transaction, now we say received rupees 20,000 from Mr. Sham and allowed him a discount of rupees let us say 2500, right. Now, this is a clear cut case wherein it is written allowed him a discount, right. So, how, may, how much cash you are receiving? The cash we are receiving is cash account debit. I have written 2000 there, it is actually 20,000. This, this one received rupees 20,000 from Mr. Sham. So, this is cash account debit. 20,000, then discount is being allowed which is a loss to the company and it should be debited. Discount allowed account debit is 2,500 and the amount which is due from Sham to Sham account who is giving the money, this is 22,500, right. being the amount received from Sham and discount allowed to him, right. So, these kind of questions you get wherein you will have to use the uh, discount allowed and discount received, right. Now, another thing I will take up after this is the trade discount and the cash discount. Now, first of all, let us understand what is the difference between a trade discount and cash discount. Basically, trade discount is something which is uh, allowed to a customer when the goods are being sold to him, right. And for getting a trade discount, the purchaser of the goods should be buying the goods in a large quantity. So, trade discount is allowed only if the purchase is made in large quantity and this trade discount whatever is the amount of trade discount that is that is deducted from the value of the uh, sale I mean like value of the original value right and in the books we will put only the net amount that is after deducting the sales discount. So, here we do not have anything called a trade discount account. Supposing we say uh, sold goods to Mr. Mehta and allowed him uh, sold goods worth rupees, let me, let me put it like this, sold goods worth rupees 50,000 to Mr. Mehta. And, uh, and allowed him a trade discount of rupees 
uh, of let us say 10 percent right. Now, in such a case, now what is 10 percent of 50,000? That is 5000 of uh, 10 percent of 50,000. Five thousand rupees. So now the net value, purchase value, will be equal to this fifty thousand minus forty five thousand. Sorry, minus five thousand, which is equal to forty five thousand. So now when the entry for the sales is made or I will write net sales value here because for us it is a sales right. So, net sale value is 45,000 right. So, here when you record the sales it will be like uh, Mehta account debit. two sales account and here we will not put the amount as 50,000, here we will put the amount as 45,000. That is after deducting the trade discount, being goods sold to Mehta at 10 percent trade discount whether it is a purchase or a sale the same thing has to be followed followed right and uh, when a cash discount is allowed when a cash discount is allowed cash discount is shown as discount allowed or discount received account right. If the cash discount is allowed then it is discount allowed and if the cash discount is received it is discount received. Now, cash discount is basically the deduction which is done after the trade discount is deducted right and basically this uh, cash discount is given. Uh, when the payment is received promptly or on prompt uh, I mean uh, cash payment or something like that right. And if we have due date if the amount is received before the due date then that cash discount can be allowed. Now, if we have a, a transaction like this let us say purchased goods from Mr. S Mr. Sohan for rupees 50,000 at a trade discount of 10 percent and 5 percent cash discount right and they are saying the amount was paid at the time of purchase itself. So, when the amount is paid at the time of purchase itself they will give that 5 percent cash discount. Now, you see this 50,000 is the actual amount right the trade discount the trade discount is 5 percent sorry 10 percent of 50,000 which is equal to 5000 right. So, after deducting this the net purchase value comes to 45,000 right. Now, this whole amount that is 45,000 was paid in cash 
so you will be getting 5% discount on that right the whole amount of uh, 45,000 is paid in cash and they are saying paid immediately they are saying right paid amount at the time of purchase itself so the uh, buyer is eligible for a cash discount so 45,000 into 5% that will be 2250 so now we will calculate the cash discount the cash discount is 45000 into 5% right that comes to 2250 right so now we are purchasing the goods so this will be what this will be discount received for us discount received is equal to 2250 discount received is a gain and it will be credited right now let us look at the journal entry now purchases account debit now purchases account will be debited with 45,000 the amount which we got after deducting the trade discount right and here we will write 2 cash account and 2 discount received account right discount received account we calculated it as 2250 2250 now the rest of the amount he has paid in cash so that comes to 42750 right so this will be the entry for this and same way if the goods are sold and they are allowing a trade discount and also a cash discount then whatever uh, amount is paid promptly on that the cash discount will be received right so with that i will end this session in which we have seen the journal entries for discount and also for trade discount and cash discount bye